Welcome back to a brand new Clash Royale video, guys. My name is Patrick, aka Chief Pat, and today we're going to be hopping into another massive gemming episode on my main account inside of Clash Royale, where we're going to be popping open some super magical chests before the new update comes out. Now, as you guys know, we've had a struggle finishing off our Night Witch as well as upgrading our Mega Knight. We still have our Flying Machine to upgrade up to level 11, which is ridiculous. So we're going to go ahead and up, pop open some super magical chests to get that done. Of course, I do have a new deck. I'm going to show you guys this Golem Bandit Night Witch deck has been working wonders for me. So we're going to go ahead and play that on the ladder but let's go and get into our chest opening right now now before we pop open those chests today's video was sponsored by clash of kings who if you guys follow me on twitter actually brought me out to the houston renaissance festival which was ridiculous it was so much fun hanging out with oj and power bang they had a dragon there they had a bunch of people fighting each other we threw axes we shot longbows and overall it was a ton of fun and not only that they're going to be doing another event october 21st in los angeles called the savage siege it's celebrating the three-year anniversary of clash of kings i'm going to be there most devs going to be there there's going to be 10v10 tournaments and you can actually win your way there as well if you go to the description below there's a link that if you click it there's a little browser game called dragon slasher brought to you by clash of kings and it basically with this dragon slasher game if you play it and you end up in the top 10 and share your score on facebook you can actually win a free trip to los angeles to meet myself to play Ca clash of kings out there at their castle it's going to be so much fun so go ahead and check that link out in the description below for more info you can check out clash of kings social media their facebook their twitter uh but yeah play the game it's just a browser game you don't have to download anything it's super fun you just go left and right until you eventually die and if you find yourself top 10 or top 100 you win prizes you can win a trip to la and it's gonna be pretty dang epic let's go and get back to the chest opening right now so here we go chest number one let's go ahead and get this started and then we're gonna get into a couple of battles we're gonna get 23 flying machines we can upgrade that up to level 10 now so we definitely want to get that done we're gonna get some dark goblins our first legendary card hopefully it's a mega knight it's gonna be the trash can on wheels feels bad man 25 baby dragons let's get into chest number two let's do this a couple more flying machines would be nice of course we do want our legendaries maxed let's see what we're gonna get inside of it i was worried i wasn't gonna get a legendary inside of that chest we didn't get a flying machine we're gonna end up getting the bandit and man i've counted since my last couple of chest openings that's five straight legendary cards that i already have instead of the mega knight and the uh, night witch so feels bad man let's go ahead and upgrade our flying machine up to max uh, but this is definitely not what we need okay level 10 flying machine not the worst thing in the world we're gonna go ahead and show off this deck inside of uh, some trophy pushing right here new season new me so let's go ahead and get that done and uh, ABK is going to be victim number one. So let's go ahead and make this happen before we open up some more chests. Let's do this. All right, Night Witch in the back. Always a solid play. Either that or the Bandit at the bridge probably would have been my two options. Let's go ahead and stop this Miner with our Bandit right here. Should have a nice little counter attack down that lane. And uh, seeing what my opponent's going to play, he hasn't played anything just yet. I'm going to go crazy with the uh, Lumberjack over here. He's definitely wasted Elixir from what I can tell. Mm, I didn't play my Ice Spear. That would have definitely been nice. Oh, the bats are actually cleaning up over there. Do you see the bats do work against that minion horde after I zapped it? Six Rage Bats on the tower are going to crush it down to below 600 HP. That was absolutely absurd right there. And I can't believe that worked out. I thought that minion horde was going to destroy me, but that zap gave me just a little bit of time. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and play my Night Witch. Of course, Night Witch, even though a little bit more expensive, we'll get the bats out here, which the bandit obviously could not provide. And uh, man, that was crazy. Now, I am a little bit worried. I got to be honest, I'm a little bit worried because he does have the minion horde. And the minion horde, my only counter to it would be to drop uh, my Ice Spirit, quickly followed up by my zap. So we have to keep that in mind. Wow, he's going to go ham right here. Does he have anything to deal with what we've got? I'm going to play our Lumberjack. Oh, this miner's about to crush our collector. That was definitely greedy. Wow, I completely lagged that Ice Spirit forever, so that miner is going to crush our tower. Not the best right there. Okay, another Hog Rider means we'll slip a bandit in here. Oh, this Lumberjack, watch this. The Lumberjack's going to die, and with the Rage, it's going to set up my bandit for a crazy push. Let's see if it gets done right now. There goes the Rage spell. Oh, okay, I wasted his app there too. Feels bad, man. Well, that uh, did not go as planned, so let's get ready with yet another Elixir Collector in a moment. Mm, Miner plus Minion Horde is going to be a little bit problematic if we deal with it, so we've got to be a little bit careful. Seeing what he's going to do, he could choose to Miner the left-hand side? I don't really know. Let's just keep our cool right now. He's actually going to end up playing his... Uh, uh, his executioner. I'll play my golem in the back to start us off. Keep in mind though, this deck doesn't really have much defense um, when it comes to 
when it comes, or it doesn't have many spells, is what I meant to say, after I threw up all over the place with my words. It doesn't have many spells, it only has the zap, so we can't really rely on any direct damage, so we're gonna have to get ready with just a ridiculous push, I guess. I'm gonna get everything down right here, in fact, I'm just gonna spam this side. I assume a minion horde might come out. Let's see that Lumberjack run all the way to the tower. He's gonna simply say, hey, you got my tower, it is what it is. Lumberjack's gonna keep running, though, he has to do something. He'll play his tornado, probably a pretty smart play right there. Elixir Collector still getting value. This bandit is a little bit boosted. Let's go ahead and get everything down right here. Clean up this Hog Rider before it can smash us. 702 HP left. Unless this he gets a miner down to destroy us, we should be good. Here goes the Ice Spirit. Oh man, that Ice Spirit's got to do something. Going to be able to stop that in its tracks. 314 HP, guys, and that should be GG. Seeing as the fireball is still in rotation. Woo! That was an interesting battle. Not a, exactly what I expected, but we still pulled out the win right there. Not too shabby. Ended up overloading that right-hand lane, but it still worked out okay. One crown, we'll get our silver chest. Let's get back into the super magicals, though. We've definitely got some work to do right here. Let's get some gold, archers, galvan barrel, royal GG, baby dragon, no flying machines. Wow, let's open up this next chest. It's gonna be a Mega Knight for finally our first legendary card that we need. This Mega Knight has been such a pain in the butt to upgrade as we zoom through this next chest. I just don't know. I feel like Supercell might have changed the algorithm recently regarding legendary chests. Because if you remember, at, at first with legendaries, they made it so it didn't it didn't, you know, weight the cards towards the cards you're missing. So for example, right now, when a new card comes out inside of the game that's a common, a rare, or an epic, nice Mega Knight, by the way. When you, a new common, rare, or epic comes out inside of the game, the game will give you more of that card, so you, you get it quicker, you know? So you're not pulling the other 30 common cards. You're mainly going to be getting that, that new card. And that really hasn't been the case with the legendaries. They did switch the legendaries, I think, a couple of months ago to make it so they appear more often, if that's the one legendary card you're meeting. But recently, I've been getting legendary cards that are already maxed out the same amount that I've been getting the cards that I need. It's been pretty bad. I don't know if something changed, if that like went back and went out, but I'm pretty confident that that recently that something must have been tweaked with that uh, change within like the last couple of months because it's been so ridiculously expensive. But anyways, let's go ahead and get into this next battle. All right, let's do it. Well, this Lumberjack was sort of worthless. I guess we'll save one hit. I don't know how much that is worth as his minions go down right here. Lumberjack's gonna die a slow but painful death, not even getting a single hit on the tower. Feels bad, man. I'm gonna go ahead and let these minions storm forward, make sure one of them dies before we play our, our mega minion, and we might be playing a mirror matchup right here. Let's get our elixir collector down first. If he's playing this golem deck that we're playing, then obviously it could be a little bit of trouble. Gonna have to play pretty well to bait him out right here, and oh man, we don't have a lot of air defense inside of this deck, guys. I don't mean to be a spoiler right here, but there goes the balloon, and it's about to be a balloon parade on our face right now because we just don't have enough to deal with this. Gotta drop our zap as soon as we can, but he drops his zap as well. We're gonna get a nice little counter push with our bandit plus our night witch, but this tower is still gonna get shredded down to zero, basically. But that's not, honestly, not the end of the world. It's the price I paid for playing the elixir collector. Uh, if our elixir collector takes too much hits from these minions, oh man, we might have to... Oh man, this is the worst... This is the absolute worst when you're the your elixir collector that you have in the center gets hit. So we're going to take some pretty big damage right there, but I feel confident about this game. If he has an Inferno Dragon, that could cause a lot of problems, but besides that, I'm feeling pretty dang good. Let's get our Golem down in this right-hand lane. This could be a three-crown push right here, especially if he goes aggressive down this left-hand lane. I'd feel pretty confident to try to finish this one off, uh, but let's see what Loach is going to do. Look at that Elixir lead we have, guys. We have a Golem down, plus six Elixir, plus our Elixir Collector is still left. We are absolutely commanding the uh, lead right now as far as Elixir goes. I'm going to start setting ourselves up for success by dropping everything over here, and there he goes. He's gonna go aggressive, guys. I told you he might do this. Look at the Mega Minion going in on my Night Witch and a couple of other things. I'm gonna play my Zap right now just to try to clean up. His Balloon's gonna do a decent job, but now it's time to go for another counter push right here. Lumberjack plus our Golem are doing their best. His minions are simply just eating me up, though. So I'm gonna drop a Bandit in another lane. The Golem is being raged towards the tower, which is absurd. Mega Minion on Mega Minion combat. Our Mega Minion will be the victor. 1,000 HP left between us and certain victory. Let's do this, guys. Now, the only problem is, did I just lag? That glitch is absurd. We literally just got a glitch, and we're gonna about to lose. Wow. Did you guys see that right there? Everyone's been having problems with that glitch inside of Clash Royale. The lag just happening for like two seconds. It has nothing to do with my connection or anything like that, apparently, because this is a glitch that literally everyone is having. So what we're gonna have to do right now is defend against this final balloon that's going down in the center. Ice Spirit prediction right here. Oh, it's gonna hit the uh, Lumberjack instead. Beautifully done. There goes the balloon parade. Hopefully we just three crown him actually. GG, well played. 
But man, that glitch right there, if that happens and I would have lost, I would have been so mad. But so many people are running into that, apparently. It's just been a problem. Anyways, 28 trophies. Let's go ahead and keep it up. But if you guys have been having that same de deploy glitch, definitely let me know in the uh, comment section below. Anyways, let's go and open up a super magical chest right now. We're going to get none of the flying machines, unfortunately. Let's see what we get next. It's going to be a Night Witch, which finally is eking its way closer to level 5. We're, we're closing in on that finally maxed out Night Witch. That would be fantastic for the ladder. We did get 148 flying machines right there. This card's going to end up being the Electro Wizard. And wow, it looks like we only have enough gems for one more chest, so I'm going to hop into one more battle and open that one up at the end. Let's go and get this done against Wazi and finish this one off with a bang. But yeah, that, that drag glitch was absurd. Hopefully in this new update, everything gets fixed right there. And uh, let's go and try to get this done right now and uh, start this one off. All right, cool. We've got our, our beautiful Elixir Collector down. He's only got a level 3 Ewiz, so we're definitely uh, rocking the advantages right now, playing a couple of these level 12s. Let's see what he ends up doing. We're going to play this right here. Oh, that bandit did not lock on. Are you joking me? Wow, that is uh, definitely unfortunate regarding the bandit. Thought for sure it would have locked on as the bandit locks onto this mortar right here. We're still going to be okay right now. I just wish that Miner did not hit our Elixir Collector, and I'd be feeling so much better about this game. Let's take this Archer damage. You know what? I could care less about what's happening right now, because we're about to storm this right-hand lane and hopefully take this win. Let's do it. Does he have an Inferno Dragon? If he doesn't have an Inferno Dragon, I don't really know what he's going to do, because look at this Elixir lead. We have seven Elixir in the bank, plus a Golem. Okay, we're at a full 10 Elixir right now. He's going to play his Inferno Dragon finally, after waiting... A hot minute about it. Let's go ahead and get our zap down right now. Beautifully done. Look at those bats. Just clean up that Inferno Dragon. Oh my word. That is just beautiful to see right there. Lumberjack Golem GG well played because this is without a doubt going to be the end of this battle. Uh, our Elixir was just absolutely absurd. There was no possible way he was going to come back. I had 10 Elixir, a Golem on the field, and an Elixir pump, and he had literally nothing. That's when you know the game is over. You have an 18, what, I don't even know. An 18 elixir lead? No. 10 elixir lead, whatever it is. Yeah, like 18 elixir. Okay, I'm boosted. Anyways, let's just go ahead and open up our final super magical chest. Going 3-0, hopefully we get something good. We're going to end up getting maybe a couple more flying machines. No flying machines, but we will pull one more legendary card, which is going to be the Night Witch. Perfect cap off to this set of chest openings. And we're closing in on that maxed out Night Witch, guys. Pretty close to getting that done. Anyways, that's going to go ahead and do it for the uh, chest opening today. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Flying Machine got done right there. And uh, yeah, level 10 Flying Machine. Closing in on level 12, the Mega Knight, we got two. So at least that worked out right there. But yeah, that's going to do it for this video. Let me know what you guys thought about those chest openings as well as the battles. This deck is super good. Make sure if you play it, if you haven't already, only two legendary cards, three legendary cards, okay? Anyways, that's going to do it for this episode. And until next time, I will see you guys later. Peace out.